Well, I have three containers of brake fluid here. If you had to put one in your car, which one would you choose? Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. Well, it's pretty obvious right here. I wouldn't want this one. Yeah, this is old brake fluid. It's been in a vehicle for a while and it's kind of contaminated, but looks could be deceiving. These two here, well, they look pretty similar. So we have to understand all about brake fluid. Brake fluid is hygroscopic. Hygroscopic means it actually absorbs water. So if you leave the cap off or you have a big container, it's going to absorb water. Well, that's a problem because it's going to lower the boiling point. We'll look at that in a minute, but we need to check the brake fluid. I'm going to show you which one would you pick? Why is that? Well, I actually have a little meter here that measures water content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that in this one here and it's a little bit of yellow. It's been out all night sitting here. Now watch this. This one here, well, I got this out about a week. Bam, you see it go right to the red there. There's a ton of water content in that one. So that one's going to boil. And when it boils, see, it makes air in the systems. Air is compressible and liquid's not. That's not a good thing. When we talk about brake fluid, we have to understand the different types. There's .3, .4, .5, and .5.1. I'll make it pretty simple for you. The higher the number, the higher the boiling point. Now there's one exception. .3, .4, .5.1 are all glycol based. .5, well that's silicone based. So .5's for some special applications, uh, military vehicles, motorcycles, stuff like that. We don't use that too often, but we do use .3, .4, and .5.1. The higher the number, the higher the boiling point. Use what your manufacturer service manual calls for, but you can always supersede the number. You can go a little bit higher. For example, if my car called for .4, I could put 5.1 in it, or if it called for .3, I could put 4 in it, but I can't go backwards. We talk about checking brake fluid. Now we can check it with that tool I just used a little bit earlier. We can also use a refractometer, and you just look through it, and when you look through it, exactly what we see right there is the content of what's going on of the boiling of the brake fluid. We can also use these little test strips. We can put them down in there, and this actually measures copper content, which is weird, I know, but some of the nickel metal lines have some copper in there, and the brake fluid starts to deteriorate it. We know it's going bad. Now, we actually boiled some brake fluid, which is pretty cool. You can see it right here. It's not a control test, but these are both dot four brake fluids, and you can see the one on the left, it's not boiling at all. The one on the right, we left out overnight. You can see the color change, it boiled pretty quick. Len, Amsoil has us covered with brake fluid as well. We do. We've got brake fluid for all of your different applications. Just, you know, check out your owner's manual, make sure you're using what they recommend. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to mention, especially in the climate that we work in, is once that brake fluid picks up some water, it freezes. So your pedal will get extremely stiff in the cold. Something maybe people in the southern states don't think of, but those of us that work in the north have those issues. So the main thing is use what's recommended for the vehicle and change it. Yeah, and I love AMS oil because theirs is specified for dot three and four, and it actually reaches to the specifications of 5.1, which is awesome. Now, brake fluid is serviceable, just like all the other fluids on your vehicle. For all your fluid service needs, go to amsoil.com.